Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Will, and today we have 12 new LEGO sets to take a look at. Quite a bit of news came out today. I'm partially afraid to get this video out there just due to the fact that we might get some more LEGO sets revealed out of the blue. But here we are. Now before we get started everyone, I would really appreciate if you all liked and subscribed to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. Now without further ado, let's get to it. So starting us off here with a new LEGO theme, DreamWorks Gabby's Dollhouse. Now I'm not going to lie, none of these sets interest me in the slightest. But I'm sure there are some people out there who have kids that are interested in the show. So here they are. Starting us off with set number 10785, Bakery with Cakey Fun. This set has 58 pieces. We don't have official prices yet, nor an official release date, just pictures. Best guess they're coming out in June, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Then we have Gabby and Murkat's Ship and Spa. This is set number 10786. It has 88 pieces. These are all 4 plus sets. I really don't have much to say, considering my lack of interest, so we're moving on. And then we have set number 10787, Kitty Fairy's Garden Party. This set has 130 pieces. The final set we have from the Gabby's Dollhouse theme is, well, Gabby's Dollhouse. Set number 10788 for 498 pieces. Probably the best designed one of all four. I'll give him credit, actually looks like a dollhouse. Next up for LEGO Harry Potter, we have the reveal of set number 76422, Dagon Alley, Wesley's Wizard Wheezes. That's a tongue twister. We did get a Dagon Alley set a little bit back, so I'm guessing this set would be a good add-on set for Set's said to retail around 130 and has 834 pieces. It will probably be releasing August 1st. Next up, we have LEGO Creator. We have two sets revealed. We have set numbers 31141 Main Street. The set has 1,459 pieces and will be retailing for $139.99 in the US. It's an okay creator set. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of all the different colors on all the buildings. It just looks really weird. But taking a look at the alternate builds as well, the tower looks like it doesn't even use up a majority of the pieces included in the set. As for this one, I can't even tell you what it is. Maybe it's an apartment building with a flower shop from what I'm seeing. But in my opinion, the best build is definitely the main one. I just like this yellow does not look like it belongs next to these buildings. I do like that we're getting a bunch of Lego hotels now, but I can also guarantee the size of this building won't be large enough for multiple rooms. The other crater set we have is the Space Roller Coaster set number 31142. This one has 874 pieces and will be retailing for $109.99 in the US. Now this one I really love. I always love LEGO's amusement park sets, whether it be creator or an icon set. And more importantly, the extra builds in this set are really good too. I love the drop with the space shuttle, as well as this build. I am completely blanking out on what the ride is called. I'll probably remember it shortly and really wish I had gotten it correct. This is a really decent set. I can totally see people getting three of this set just to create a space-based amusement park. Next up, we have LEGO Disney with Disney Duos set number 43226. This set has 553 pieces and will be retailing for $44.99 in the US. I know a lot of Disney fans are going to love this set with a bunch of brick-built duos from the films. We have Mona, Pocahontas, Finding Nemo, and Beauty and the Beast. All of them look extremely well designed. And overall, it's just an amazing set. Next up, we have Villain Icon, set number 43227. This set will have 1,540 pieces and will retail for $129.99 in the US. Now, this is a very impressive set. I absolutely love the fact that we're getting a whole bunch of villains from the classic Disney films in minifigure form, but also all the brick-built objects from the Little Mermaid VHS to the Poison Apple, the Beauty and the Beast book, it all looks really well done. And I think people are going to really enjoy this set. Moving on to Marvel and DC, we have set number 76257, the Wolverine construction figure. This set will have 327 pieces, and according to this, it will retail for 31.99 euros, which means it will probably be around $30 in the US. Now, I wasn't a fan of the Iron Man construction figure, and I'm definitely not a huge fan of these. First off, I can't get over this Wolverine smirk. I honestly think he would look better with his mouth closed. Maybe the rest of you would disagree with me, 
but that's just my take on it. Then we have set number 76258, Captain America construction figure. This one has 310 pieces and will retail for the exact same as the Wolverine, 31.99 euros. This one is not that bad. Probably one of the better construction figures of them all. I love how you can clip the shield on his back. I guess time will tell if the construction figures is a very popular wave going forward. Speaking of construction figures, our final one is set number 76259, the Batman construction figure. This one has 278 pieces and will retail for 31.99 euros and presumably $30 in the US. Once again, not a fan of construction figures, but hey, Batman at least looks really good. Honestly, maybe I like him better than the Captain America construction figure. Finally, we have an actual Infinity Saga set. We have set number 76260, Black Widow and Captain America's Motorcycles. The set will retail for €12.99 and has 130 pieces. I'm presuming it will be either $10 or $15.16 in the US. This is the best set of the four superhero sets we took a look at. Both characters are occasionally drive motorcycles in the MCU films, so this set kind of makes sense. This will also be a great set for those who have never gotten these minifigures before. Next up, we are actually covering a new LEGO theme, LEGO Dreams, which is coming out soon. Its official reveal will actually pr be pretty close to my birthday. Anyway, this is set number 71459, Stable of Dream Creatures. I don't know anything about the piecing or pricing, but this set comes with three minifigures and a bunch of random characters. I'm pretty sure that's a new piece for this grandma figure. There's a lot of new pieces in this set. These tree background pieces, these new mushroom guys. None of it makes any sense to me, but it is an original Lego theme that's getting a TV series. So if you guys would like me to watch the TV series and give you a review on it down the line, let me know down in the comments section. Plus, hint hint, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos or the official reveal of this theme. Cheeky little plug for the channel in there. Sorry, had to do it guys. And finally, for LEGO friends, we have set number 41759, the Hark Lake City Bus. This set will be retailing for $49.99 in the US and will be releasing on June 1st. Now LEGO friends has had some really good sets. It's a real companion to LEGO City. Occasionally, Friends has even better sets than City ever will. And this one, it's not that bad. The, the bus doesn't look the way I picture most buses. I definitely love this bus stop over what we typically get from LEGO City, which is typically just a sign. Overall, a big improvement. But alright everyone, that about wraps it up for this news video. Which sets are your favorite, and are you planning on getting any of them? Please let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.